What's happening guys? Welcome back to Road to Master Ball Rank. Today we are going to be Santa Claus and now we are handing out free L's and uh, I'm pretty excited. So we're going to be using the same team as we were in the previous session because uh, I do think it was pretty fun. I would like to ideally get our boy Flapple to do some stuff. Uh, it kind of just depends on the matchups but I would kind of like to uh, demolish some people with my apples. So this is the team we're working with. Um, again, we do have that Halucha that would also be fun to get to do some stuff, but then we basically just have some absolute beasts with the Clefable and the Gyarados. Um, also, didn't get to use the Cinderace last time, so maybe we might get to, get to Pyro Ball some mofos. And, uh, and then we have the Dragapult with a Choice Scarf, mostly just to be able to outspeed other Dragapults. Um, it actually didn't work out too well for me last episode because... I ended up getting stuck into Shadow Ball when I could have won, but I needed to click Shadow Ball. I, it was not a winnable game. But anyway, first opponent has been found. Let's go ahead and start this off nicely, shall we? See what this dude is working with here. Ooh, we see some stuff that we haven't really messed around with. We got the Gardevoir, uh, which is interesting. Also the Togedemaru, which is uh, not something you really see too often, along with the Gudra. So that's pretty damn cool. We got the Toxapex. Which is extremely annoying. Milotic. And then a Cursula. Or uh, Galarian Cursula. Just kidding. So. Uh, last time we were kind of working with Clefable lead. It looks like it could be decent for us. Except they have the Toxapex. Um, we do definitely want to bring Clefable. I would kind of like to lead Gyarados. I mean, maybe we should just lead Flapple here. This might actually be kind of fun. Uh, but if we lead Flapple and they go Gardevoir, that could be kind of bad. I think we just I think we toss the apple out there, game one, just to see if we can get that to do anything. Um, and then I kind of want to go Dragapult. Cinderace might not be bad, but they have that Milotic around. Hmm. Don't want to go Halucha. That Toxapex could just be a damn threat, to be honest. That Toxapex really... Um, could wall me a little bit. You know, let's go with the... Uh, screw it. We're going Gyarados. Gyarados can set up in Toxapex's face uh, if we need it to. So, the three that I'm expecting them to bring, probably going to be that Toxapex. Uh, Gardevoir could be an interesting one as well, as just a lead. Fairy types are super scary when they Dynamax. So, who knows how this is going to go. But I'm feeling confident in the squad. And <laughs> maybe we can get Flapple uh, to have some fun here. So, what are you going to be leading off with? You got them... Swaggy pants. All right, they lead off with the Togedemaru. Uh, this thing, essentially, are you going to nuzzle me? What are you going to do? We got the shiny apple. Look at the beauty of this lad. I love it. All right. Uh, so we really have nothing to hit this thing with. And I'm assuming they brought this thing kind of for Gyarados. This thing is actually a pretty large threat. And the reason is because Clefable can't really switch in. Has the type matchup on both of my other two Pokemon. And Flapple does not really have much to hit it with. So... I think we just go ahead and, man, just click grab and click a grab apple. I mean, we're choice banded with the hustle. It's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. I don't know if I want to waste my Dynamax early. This is not the best lead for us. The Toga tomorrow, I really probably should have brought Cinderace for this thing. Uh, it is going to be able to get off an Iron Head. It does do over half, and we don't flinch. And we get off a grab apple, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and drop that right on your head. Look at that damage, sweet Jesus. That is insane. We get a defense drop, and it's actually going to go ahead and pop a berry here. So, this thing could potentially go for the spiky shield. I do have the sucker punch, though. And I think it's probably worth trying to go for the sucker punch here. Um, I'm assuming they're just going to want to try to finish me off. They know they're faster. Let's go for the sucker punch. Oh, no, just kidding. False alarm. We're, we're choice banded, obviously. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was... Okay, but what we could do is... I guess that... Man, we're just going to have to let Flapple go down. Why did I forget that I was choice banded for a second? That the Sucker Punch would be a clutch play. Um, if we Dynamax, we could potentially live it. But I think we basically just have to click Grab Apple again here. And uh, at least we were able to make this thing easily killable. And uh, Flapple is unfortunately going to go down there. So, shit happens. Um, what is Togedemaru speed-wise? Do not play against a lot of these damn things, so I really don't know what kind of speed, speed tiers they're working with. I'm assuming they're gonna be kind of just max speed. Uh, the top out at 162, which is quite a bit, and we are in a little bit of a predicament here because we are gonna get outsped. I think I have to bring in Clefable and Dynamax, to be honest, which is unfortunate because it's not gonna allow us to Dynamax Gyarados later, 
But who would have thought this fucking Pikachu imposter was going to be the biggest problem for us? Well, we bring in the Clefable, which means we kind of have to take a Iron Head. So we're going to go ahead and Dynamax here. And let's just click the Max Flare. No reason for them to just not click the Iron Head. Um, I believe you actually can't get flinches through Dynamax. That's something that I learned. Um, so that's kind of nice. We don't have to worry about that. But big ass piece of chewed gum comes out here. And uh, man, I really wish I wasn't choice banded on the Flapple there. We got the defense drop. Sucker Punch would have been able to knock it out even without the damage from the choice band. But we did a whole lot to it. So this thing just goes for the Iron Head. Clefable is going to take way too much from that. Which is sad. But we're able to take care of the Togedemaru. And we do still have the Gyarados left. So, that is the one electric type on their team gone. Uh, what they have left is Gardevoir, Gudra, Toxapex, Milotic, and Corsola. So, it looks like Gyarados has a decent matchup here. We also have um, Clefable over here eating some leftovers. And we're bulky as hell, so we could potentially take an attack. Um, if they brought the Toxapex, we can go ahead and click that Thunderbolt slot. Um, it kind of just depends on what they're going to want to bring in here. I guess Corsola can kind of come in and take a hit. But we're in a pretty decent position here. Um, that Togedemaru lead, man. Hecked up my Flapple. We're, I, I kind of want to just keep bringing Flapple. Just because it is awesome. Alright, so they can actually bring in the Gudra. Uh, this thing has Sludge Bomb, things like that. Um, they're probably going to go ahead and Dynamax as well. It's going to be nice to be able to get some damage off on this thing, though. If possible. Because we need that for Gyarados to be able to to help us out it's just unfortunate uh, we used our dynamax but we kind of had to we were in a we were in a position where i really kind of needed to dynamax there but so yeah they're gonna go ahead and get big as well large gudra is scary these things have the max lightning for gyarados so that is not very good very large bulky dragon is frightening so what is this thing gonna do though Pro i'm assuming just gonna go for the max sludge or whatever Whatever that slot is. Yeah, just going to go for the Max Ooze, which is actually going to be able to take us out. And uh, it's not looking like we're going to be able to do too well against this thing. Because now we have Gyarados. And this thing definitely is going to be able to have the Max Lightning and finish us off. So really, that is not the best for us. Um, really not a great start. With these 3v3 matches, it really kind of depends on matchup. And uh, going with Flapple so far has not seemed to work out for me in terms of leading off with it. But it's fine. So, we bring in the Gyarados, and at this point, there is really nothing I can do. I can just, I mean, I can Dragon Dance. Really, there's there's no scenario here where things work out. I mean, we click, click Bounce, uh, which might actually not be too bad, because it's going to waste a turn of this thing's Dynamax. Um, we're going to see what it's able to go for, and we'll be able to avoid it. But I'm sure that they have Thunderbolt on this thing. Yeah, it's got the Max Lightning, and uh, you would think Max Lightning would still hit me as I'm in the air. But... Gyarados essentially just dies at this point, unless we get a Parahax, and it actually does get fully paralyzed, please. Oh, it is actually going to activate the GUI. Drops my speed when you make contact with it, and we did not get it. So, now we basically just die to a Max Lightning, and that was not the best first match at all. The, I found that these, uh, these ranked battles either go really well, or they go very poorly, and that did not go the way we wanted it to. So, we're going to even, potentially even just lose a, a rank here. Um, we're close to being Ultra Ball rank. I think I'm sitting at, at 9, but this might even drop us below that. So, that was unfortunate. Really, really I don't know if there's a way I pr potentially could have played that better. But, uh, it really did not seem like there was anything I could do there. We get a big nugget because the game feels bad for us. So, that's kind of nice. Anyway, we shall continue. Not all hope is lost. We'll be able to see kind of what we lost in rank here, though. That is going to drop us just right at the base of nine so we've got some work to do uh, to get the ultra ball rank we're sitting at 16 and 6 but another opponent has been found so hopefully we can make something happen this time i don't know if i bring the damn flapple all right so we see a mimic you a dragapult charizard the corsola again hello tick and the excadrill so Kind of a scary team. I'm really afraid of the Mimikyu, which is kind of why I, I do feel like I need to bring the Clefable. I wish Clefable had Thunder Wave, though. It'd be able to... I mean, I could put it on it, but... Clefable's kind of necessary to mitigate the Mimikyu. Uh, I could also bring the Focus Ash Cinderace, which also does well against it. Um, 
Also does great against the Excadrill, so I think I might be that might be a solid play. Um, leading off with leading off with the Cinderace might not be a bad idea. Uh, Gyarados seems to do pretty well here as well. They don't seem to have any electric. We could potentially just lead off with the Gyarados, actually. We do have to worry about that Mimikyu. Let's go ahead and lead Gyarados. Let's try to get it. Let's try to get a little Gyarados sweep going. We're gonna bring the Clefable. And then let's go ahead and bring the. Should we bring the Cinderace or do I bring the Scarf Dragapult? I think we bring the Cinderace. Have not brought this thing yet. We're mostly just out here messing around, having fun. So let's just see what we can do when we bring Cinderace. I think I did bring it actually last episode, but I didn't end up getting it to do anything. So, all right. Sa Nine Cha. They got the standard um, card. So hopefully that's a good sign. Let's see if we can get a decent lead matchup here. They are going to go with the Excadrill. So, this really is not too bad for us. I don't know if I want to start setting up on this thing. They, I'm guaranteeing they brought the Mimikyu. Um, so, we're going to take damage from like a Rock Slide, which would really hurt. Do I even want... I could go into Cinderace, get knocked down to my Sash, and then be able to Pyroball this thing. But odds are, it brought... It's, it's running Focus Sash as well. Um, Gyarados, I think we honestly just go ahead and Dynamax here. It'll allow us to take a hit from this thing. If this thing Dynamaxes also, it puts us in a bad spot. You know what? Let's go ahead and just Dynamax. We don't need the Dragon Dances. We're going to go right for the Max Geyser. Or we could Max Airstream and then Max Geyser next turn after a Speed Boost. Which, this thing is probably going to be working with a Focus Sash. Let's go ahead and Max Airstream here. Might even get a Switch and then Max Airstream could help us out. Um... But actually, they're going to Dynamax as well. So, some turn one Dynas. And it seems to be a pretty popular maneuver. So, all right. It's good to know we have the Focus Sash Cinderace in the back. And uh, so I click the Max Airstream. Most of the time, you do generally see Excadrills running Sash. So, if we didn't Dynamax here, we definitely would have got hecked up by a Max Rockfall. But at least with the Dynamax, Gyarados be looking thick. How well do we even take that? We're about to find out, I suppose. What do you got for me, Excadrill? I'm just going to go for the Max Rockfall. Yep, there it is. It's also going to set up the Sandstorm, which is kind of annoying because we're actually also Life Orb. So we're going to take some Life Orb damage and the Sandstorm. So the Max Rockfall does um, about half. And this is actually not great for us because I was really banking on this thing not Dynamaxing. So we get the Max Airstream. It's going to give us a speed boost, but honestly, Max Speed Excadrill is extremely fast. And, uh, well, we're just going to go ahead and stay in here. There's really no reason to switch out or anything. We just go ahead and click the Max Geyser. I probably should have gone for the Max Geyser turn one. I was thinking speed boost could be super nice. Um, we do outspeed. So I think it actually it, it worked out for us. So I think the I think the uh, Max Airstream was actually the best play. Also with the Max Geyser, we get rid of the Sandstorm as well. So now we set up the rain and the Excadrill is down. We have a speed boost with Gyarados. So we're going to be faster than everything except for Dragapult on their team. And we get that Moxie boost. So the Gyarados is sitting pretty nice here. Um, so it actually did turn out to be a better play going for the Max Airstream. We broke that thing's potential Focus Sash, and then we were able to knock it out. So, perfect. For some reason, I thought Excadrill that was faster than it was, but um, Max Speed sets it at 154, so obviously we outspeed that after a Speed Boost. All right, so in comes a Milotic. This is where the Max Overgrowth comes in clutch. Uh, if you were unaware, Gyarados got a buff this generation where they, for some reason, gave it Power Whip, uh, which makes this thing extremely viable. Does great against water types like this, and uh, that is going to demolish the Melotic. Um, so that's amazing. No idea why they decided to give Gyarados Power Whip, but it's great because it actually gives it a, um, a perfect answer for like Rotom Washes, which it did struggle with. A lot of people, uh, Rotom Wash is a great switch into Gyarados. But with Power Whip, you can just go ahead and bop them bitches on the face. And uh, Gyarados is OP as hell these days. All right, so two down, one to go. Gyarados is sitting to be, looking to be pretty, pretty nice here. Um, 
They really don't have much unless it's the Mimic you. It'll be able to take a hit. It's actually just gonna be the Charizard, so this is perfect. We are gonna shrink back to normal size, but we do have a speed boost. And also, we got a couple Moxies, so we are looking pretty nice here. We're just gonna go ahead and click Waterfall. Honestly, Gyarados is one of the Pokemon that is super hard to counter, unless you have a specific Pokemon on your team uh, to handle it. It, uh, it really kind of reigns supreme in these rank battles. So this is going to be able to knock out the Zard. And Gyarados getting that clean sweep. Love to see it. That Excadrill um, could have been a problem. But the fact that we got that speed boost helped us out. So that's a solid 3-0. And we bounce back from that first one. Not the best performance on the first match. But we're looking good now. Also, we're going to get some rank back. And you love to see it. We shall continue. Let's see what we're sitting at now. Gives us just a little boost. It's just kind of back to where we where we started this episode, which is a bummer. But let's see if we can't uh, get ourselves in a better position here. So 17 and 6. Still not too shabby. Honestly, I would like to stay just above 50%. Like, So we're, we're looking pretty solid. Alright. Vinny with one N. What do you got for me, buddy? You have a Barrascuta. And, uh-oh. We see... The rain team. Oh, man. Got the toxicity. And then there is going to be a freaking Dracovish. Along with a Ferrothorn. And a Hydreigon. So, obvious rain team is obvious. They're probably going to lead off with that Pelipper. Um, and that is a little bit scary. I don't think it's... Oh, man. This is... This could be bad for us. I kind of want to lead off with the Dragapult. Just to be fast and get a nice little hit we could lead cliff fable also actually does great because we can take a hit from pretty much anything that they've got uh, it is great against a ferrothorn potential lead i'm sure they're gonna lead off with the pelipper they got that swift swim barrascuta also the drake of Vish is there to just hit extremely hard so let's lead off with cliff fable um we are also going to go ahead and bring the gyarados because it does well and then i would like to bring probably scarf dragapult flapple might not be bad either but I think we're actually just going to go... Let's go Dragapult with the Scarf. Does great against the High Dragon, which they're probably going to bring as well. Clefable cannot do everything, so we have to have an answer for that as well. All right. Let's see how this goes. So, similar to a team that I was kind of using in the past. But let us get it. This man's got the shades on, okay? I see you, the yellow shades. So, Viney, or Vinny. Let's see. I'm expecting them to lead off with the Pelipper. Going to get that Swift Swim up. it will help out the Barrascuta. Uh, they are going to lead with, just kidding, it is the Toxtricity, and that is terrible for us. They lead Toxtricity expecting Clefable, maybe? Wow, that is, that is really not good. Well, man, quite unfortunate. This thing can just go ahead and hit us with a poison move. I have to switch here because Clefable looks too nice. Um, do you not want to hard switch into Gyarados, really? If this thing Dynamaxes also, we're going to be... We're going to be a little bit scared. Let's go, into, let's go into the Dragapult here. I think we can take one hit from this thing, hopefully. Might even go for the Boom Burst, and that would be a solid play. But I doubt they would click Boom Burst here. Might, they might expect a switch. We'll see. They're not. They're just going to go right for the Sludge Wave. So, sends an absolute wave of Sludge at us. Uh, we resist that, so Dragapult looks nice. We also do see that this thing is Life Warp, which is kind of great. So, now we can basically just click Draco Meteor. They might save this thing. Uh, they don't have any fairies on their team. There's nothing they can switch into a Draco Meteor. Um, and that's just going to hit extremely hard. So I think we just click the, we just drop the Draco here, as the boy Joey would say. And they are going to switch out. So they're going to save that Toxtricity. And what are you switching into? Potential Ferrothorn? Yep, that's going to be the Ferrothorn. So. Ordinarily, it would be a nice position here to um, Dynamax and just click Flamethrower. But the fact that we got the special attack drop from this kind of makes me not want to do that. Um... So, I think we're going to go ahead and switch out here. Bringing in Gyarados might not be too bad. This thing's probably going to, like, Leech Seed. Not sure what it's really going to want to do. But we could bring in the Gyarados. We take a decent amount from Power Whip. Um, I doubt it's going to go for it turn one, though. Bounce does decent damage. Might even just go ahead and Dynamax the Gyarados here. So, we're going to save the Dragapult. We can always bring this thing in later. Uh, it's a great answer for that Ferrothorn. We got the Flamethrower around, so I do want to conserve that. And we have seen... Two of their Pokemon. So they do go for the Leech Seed. As expected. And it doesn't look like they brought the Rain Team. So the Rain was a bluff. And it's going to go ahead and get some health back 
from the leftovers and also the leech seeds. So this thing's sitting back at freaking full. So that was a great switch in to the Dragapult there. If I wasn't choiced, we would have been in a way better position. And so far, it's looking like the choice Dragapult's kind of hecked me up. But this thing can hit us with a neutral power whip, which we can take at least one of. And I kind of, I don't think they're going to Dynamax this thing. Do I Dragon Dance here is the question. You know what? We're going to go ahead and Dragon Dance. Gyarados is still a threat to this thing. Oh, they are going to Dynamax. That is not, that is not good at all. Well. So, Dynamax Ferrothorn. It's an interesting maneuver because this thing doesn't have much of an offensive presence. But now with the max overgrowth, uh, it'll be able to do a lot more to Gyarados. And also, it's got the leftovers on us. Plus, we have our Life Orb. So, we're not going to be able to last long against this thing now. Um, but if we can get a bounce off, we can at least waste a turn of this thing's Dynamax. And then we need to be able to bring in the Dragapult later. So, let's see what's going to happen here. We still have our Dynamax in the back, po back pocket. It's going to go for that max overgrowth. And that might even just, uh, okay, no, we're taking that actually pretty nicely. So, better than expected, does set up the grassy terrain, so this thing is just out here getting that health. Okay, so rather than using my own Dynamax here, I think I'm going to go ahead and just click Bounce. And the reason for that is because we will be able to waste a turn of this thing's Dyna, and also it's going to be able to do at least a little bit of damage with that Dragon Dance up. So, let's go ahead and click the Bounce here. Going to go ahead and spring up. And we'll be able to uh, avoid an attack here. And then as long as we still have the healthy Dragapult, we'll be okay. So, max overgrowth. Gonna avoid it. Do still get leech seeded, even though we're in the air. And that's gonna put us down to 20. We still have a life orb hit left in us, which is kind of cool. And now they can go for a max guard if they really feel like it. Which actually is probably gonna be what they're gonna do. Yep, they are. And okay. So, the max guard there is kind of unfortunate. That's actually a good play. Um, they get more of the leech seed. It is going to actually be able to knock us out. So it does 20. Hits us with the 20, and the max guard was used correctly there. So now we bring in the Dragapult. I do want to conserve. Man, we're actually in a we're actually in a bad spot. They still have that toxicity around, and uh, this damn Ferrothorn effectively used its Dynamax. But man, you hate to see it. Well, we're just going to bring in the Dragapult. There's really we can't go into Clefable, so. We bring in ye old ghostly tail. And this thing does shrink back to normal size. So that is great for us. Um, depending on this thing's build, Flamethrower might not knock this thing out. I think I might just Dynamax though, just to ensure that it does. And Dynamax Dragapult is great because then we can switch moves. Actually, there's nothing this thing could knock us out with anyway. You know what? No, we're going to click Dynamax anyway. We only really need two turns, to be quite honest. All right. We click that Max Flare, and uh, you had your fun with your Dynamax, and guess what, buddy? Now the fun shall be mine. And this is exactly why you bring the Dragapult. This thing is absolutely insane. One of my favorite Pokemon of the generation, for sure. He's got a super cool design. Also, look at his little Dreepies. He's got his little baby Dreepies on his head, which are amazing. This thing could go, could go for a Protect, but it's not going to. Just going to allow us to hit it with the Max Flare. And that is going to be able to knock out the Ferrothorn. So, Dragapult has an interesting interesting matchup against Ferrothorns, just because a lot of the time you will see physical ones, which don't have any fire options. But since we do uh, have a special set, the Flamethrower is there. So, they might not have even expected that. But we do get some health back from the grassy terrain, so that's kind of nice. And now we're able to see what they're going to go ahead and bring in. So, they're going to see their, see their third slot, which is going to be the Pelipper. Pelipper is going to make it rain. And, uh... I guess we just go ahead and click our most damage here, which is going to be the Max Wormwind. And uh, can Pelipper take that is the question. We really need to get rid of that Toxtricity, to be honest. I wish that uh, I had the Electric Support on, on this Dragapult. Might even be better than the U-Turn. Um, the Pelipper can take it, and um, we can drop its attack, but it's obviously just going to hit us with a Hurricane. But we're living because we are thick. <laughs> did like no damage all right so the grass appear disappears from the battlefield now all we got to do is just click max wormwind and scarf dragapult does outspeed the uh the toxicity so i think we're still in a good spot here 
Would be nice to still have my Dynamax because we love the very large boy, but it's fine. Gonna be able to knock out the Pelipper. All that is left is gonna be the Toxtricity, which is actually not something you see very often. Toxtricity suffers from being way too slow to honestly be able to do too much. It does hit really hard with its unique ability that increases damage from sound moves, but it really just, it doesn't have the speed to be able to utilize it. It seems like it would be a fast Pokemon, right? Like, but apparently not. That boy's slow. And uh, can Clefable will potentially even take a hit from it? Who knows? I don't think we're gonna even need to find out. But in comes the Toxtricity. No, it's actually it's Life Orbs. This thing's got this thing's got the damage. But all right, so I believe we are able to just select our move here. We're gonna go with the old Draco Meteor, and let's see what you got for me. The music is intense. Like sex on a campsite, boys. Intense. All right. <laughs> Dragon Meteor does connect. It is actually able to live it. Surprising. Hot damn. This is going to go for the overdrive here. And uh, that's going to knock out Dragapult. So you're actually going to take the life orb damage, though. This is actually going to be this is going to be a close one. He is going to be able to get one hit on the Clefable. And that is not good. Dragapult, damn it. We, need, <laughs> we needed you to hit that. Or to be able to finish that off. Man. Well, in comes full health Clefable. And uh, we just go ahead and click Moonblast. It really doesn't matter at this point. It's going to take life warp damage from its hit. And I guess now we wait and see. So it hits us with the Sludge Wave. Clefable's pretty hecked here. Yeah, that's going to be able to knock out Clefable. Damn it. Clefable, no! It does actually kill itself with its life orb, but he is going to still get the win because he finished himself off first. And, uh, man, I've really been kind of blowing it. These uh, these past few battles have not been my best. I think that was a winnable match. If I was able to get just a little bit more damage on that damn Toxtricity, we would have been would have been in a good spot. But we are going to, unfortunately, lose more rank. And, damn. Not going to lie, I've really, I've really kind of fallen off here. The fuck? <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and select this just to show what the rank did, but first episode that we have actually lost rank from when we started. So one win and two losses is unfortunate, but sometimes that's the way it goes. I really thought this team was gonna be able to perform better than it does. I mean, Gyarados, great sweeper, but maybe we'll mess around with it a little bit more. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize that I'm honestly pretty shit at this game, but. <laughs> I will see you guys next time, and maybe someday we will get get to Master Ball rank. Peace out, y'all.